dry Do you know I'm looking And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing Hello, welcome to my crib. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to being Mrs. Frazier. Can you believe it? It has been six months already since we took the 1500 mile trip to Florida and moved our entire family down here from the only home that we have ever known back in Nebraska. I thought that I would give you guys a six month updated house tour because there have been quite a few changes since the last house tour so I thought I would bring you along and show you what has changed so let's go ahead and flip you around and let's go ahead and get started you guys ready hold on let me it's okay Time, you know <laughs> <that> <laughs> <I> <laughs> the cats are like oh. Here we are Ooh, it's echoey Forever 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 I watch you as you sleep You don't know I'm looking with you everything's complete Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on Just to wake you up When I dance around Alrighty, so when you first come in, you come right into the living room. Now this is just a ranch style house, three beds, three baths. Um, I think it's about 12 to 1300 square foot. But anyway, if you have noticed, the main thing that we have changed in our house is the color. We did paint everything. Um, this beautiful, neutral, it's not quite white. Um, it is called Alabaster by Sherman Williams. Um, however, we did have the color mixed in Valspar. I like Valspar, so that's what I tend to use. But anyway, that is what is on the walls in case you are curious. Again, it's not quite bright, right? Or it's not quite white, but it is just a beautiful, just creamy, uh, color. So that has been the main thing that has changed here in the living room. We do, however, have some changes coming soon that I would like to do. I'll turn you guys around here to this wall. I am going to be doing an accent wall. I am so excited to share that project with you guys. Um, I'm going to be putting up brick paneling and doing like a German schmear on it. So I'm so excited. I'm hoping that it just helps bring in some more warmth into the living room, into the space without making it too like crowded or overwhelming, I guess, if you will. So definitely make sure you're subscribed because you're not going to want to miss that. But I guess the other thing that we changed is the ceiling fan, which we have done in every room throughout the house. Let's go ahead and come down the hallway here into the bathroom. has changed in here we I didn't paint it was already this color um, we did add this row or rack of towels I changed out the shower head or not the shower head well we shape we did change the shower head but the shower curtain rod um, we did change out the light fixture however things are coming this year that I am super excited for I want to uh, put in a dual vanity here, um, get rid of this vanity, 
counters, change up the mirror, and I would love to possibly maybe put in shower doors here and get rid of the shower curtain. And then definitely get some paint in here. But other than that, we haven't really changed much of anything. There's Freddy's room. There's your room. <laughs> yep, here's your guys' room. Can we stay Oh, I like our lights, Mommy. There's your room. Yeah. Do you like your walk in closet? Forever. I'm loving this moment. Can we stay forever? I'm just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here together? Don't you know that I would Cause I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? Forever Forever Next room up here is the girls room The only thing we have done in here Is changed out the ceiling fan um, Now they they don't have any theme, anything special. You guys don't see in here a whole lot purely because it's their room. I let them keep their privacy and do their own thing in here. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't feel like it's my, my space to share typically. And if you're wondering, we haven't done anything in here because they can't agree. <laughs> um, so we're working on that. But we'll see what happens. I would love to get something done in here sometime this year. All right, so the next room is Freddy's room. We have not done anything in here, and as you can see, we have a toy storage issue. Um, he got this big train track for Christmas, and we're not really sure what to do with it. So right now, it is sitting here, but we need to work on that. I do have some plans for his room. Um, I'm not sure that we're going to go with the shark theme that we did before, but we definitely need to do something. Um, I'm thinking that we're going to redo his room for his birthday, so definitely subscribe so you can come back and check out and see what differences we do in here, because right now, the room really needs some help. <laughs> As we turn back around, we come back into the living room. I do want to show you guys these shelves. I love these shelves. I am so happy that I decided to put them there. They are just an Ikea picture shelf. They used to be whites. So you guys might have recognized them from my craft room hoarder video <laughs> that I couldn't figure out what to do with so uh or do with them because I had I think glitter on them at one time but when we moved I ended up painting them black and I absolutely love having them here I need to get some more pictures um of my mom and dad and my other set of grandparents and then we will fill up this row here together if I could stop the time don't you know that I would I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? Forever 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 I watch you as you drive Do you know I'm looking? Moving into the kitchen, this is where you'll see the biggest difference. When we first moved here, the cabinets were all like a, like the honey oak color, um, except for they were not oak. They were just like a pressed wood. They were falling apart and there was definitely some water damage. So Fred and I ripped the entire thing out and reinstalled all these new cabinets. And then we also put in granite countertops. Um, we actually hired that done. We did not do that part ourselves. That would have been way too much of an on taking. And then we also installed this island, which I absolutely love. The kids sit here for snacks sometimes. They sit here and do homework. And I am so happy that we decided to put this in. It just kind of makes the kitchen 
And it was nice because it also added a bunch of counter space. And then moving on over to the dining area, we have just a little farmhouse style table with some benches. I did go, I did do this wall, um, this accent grid wall, and I absolutely love how it turned out. It just draws your eye into that area and I love it. It kind of warmed up the space even though it's black. It still gave a lot of warmth instead of cooling and I love it. It needed, it, we needed some color since the kitchen was or is so white. Um, also another thing I wanted to tell you guys, we did not replace the appliances when we moved here other than we did install the microwave which that is new. However, we are getting rid of all the appliances and getting all new and I'm so excited. So I can't wait for you guys to see that. Um, we did pick up the black stainless Frigidaire gallery dishwasher range microwave and we have a French door fridge coming. I am so excited. Um, don't worry guys, I will be doing a video on organizing your fridge once that new fridge comes so you guys will get to see the appliances. But I'm so excited. That is probably one of the most, the things that I am most excited for this year is getting new appliances. <laughs> Used to be home, passing by those little towns I know so well. Stopping for gas, and then I'm behind the wheel again. Driving this like a spiritual cleanse. Wherever All right, last room is our room. So this is Fred and I's room. It's kind of dark. Let me turn the light on here. Again, we did replace the ceiling fan in here, and then I painted the walls. This, again, is Alabaster by Sherwin-Williams. This is where I do all my work. Sometimes, well, not all of it, I should say. Uh, sometimes I use my laptop, but I do have a new project coming soon for you guys in here. I'm going to be updating our... Not our furniture, but like the linens and the style of this bedroom. I am going to take it from beach themed to more of a western cozy ranch house kind of style vibes. Kind of more like the living room. And I am so excited to be bringing that to you guys. But, yes. We also have storage issues in this house which will be fixed here in a couple weeks and i'm so excited i'll be sharing that with you guys soon enough and every friend holds a new end eyes on the road don't lose control i'm speeding fast to chase my soul i'm driving to get away running through emotions high and low holding on a For the sky, I had it all but lost and fell back down again. Spent my time playing the game where every single day was a losing battle and every drink was a dead end. Let's go ahead and come into our bathroom. This is another place where we did a lot of work. Um, hi guys! <laughs> uh, we did change out this vanity. It was just an old kind of plywood vanity that was here before, and then we also changed out the mirror. The other thing that we haven't done in here yet, we didn't paint, so this color, I'm not sure what it is. It's very similar to the alabaster, but I'm trying to decide if I want to put in shower doors and take out the curtain. You guys will have to let me know down in the comments what you think about that. I, ugh, I'm torn because I know the glass doors, like a lot of people have problems with them, especially, especially like in, uh, when you have hard water, 
So it would be something new to kind of take care of because we do have very hard water here. But I'm, I'm kind of thinking that it would help open up the bathroom, especially because this bathroom is so tiny. And really the shower really makes this bathroom because the shower is huge. Alrighty guys, that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video and coming along touring my house. I cannot believe all the changes that we have made and all the progress that has come of it. I am so excited to see what 2023 brings for our house and all the ideas that I have to continue to make this place home for us. Anyway guys, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. You're going to want to come back and check out and see what other things we change in this house. So anyway, until next time, bye guys.